Tonight, we are also learning more about the suspect, the weapon, and a possible motive. CBS 2's Thalia Perez is live in Harlem with the latest on the investigation. Thalia? Jessica, police say they still haven't spoken to the suspect as he is recovering from surgery, but they've gathered information from his mother and his social media. Police are still piecing together what took place moments before the suspect, LaShawn McNeil, allegedly opened fire, killing 22 year old officer Jason Rivera and leaving his partner, 27 year old officer Wilbert Mora, clinging to life. At this moment, of, you know, it's about prayers. Uh, we need New Yorkers to, uh, to pray for the well being of this officer. Uh, that uh, we should all be proud of. McNeil's mother told police that she recently had a medical procedure and the suspect was in town from Baltimore to help her out. Police say when cops arrived at the West 135th Street apartment, she and another son were in the living room while the suspect was in the rear bedroom and not visible. The mother was not really specific. She just stated that she was ill. Her son was coming up to take care of her, and he became problematic. Police recovered a gun at the scene and believe it was purchased illegally in Baltimore. They're trying to determine the origin of the high capacity ammo clip. This while Mayor Adams again pledging to attack the gun violence crisis in New York City and go after the gun dealers. Officers are taking thousands of guns off the streets. But they need help. And the help is, is to stop the flow. And that is what the federal government must do. Sources tell CBS2 that the suspect has a history of posting anti police and anti government messages on social media. This while Officer Mora remains in critical condition. Live from Harlem, Thalia Perez, CBS2 News. Thalia, thank you.